Hello there, folks, and you have caught me. Hold on, wait, did I already spend a time point? Undo that. Uh, hello there, folks, welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect! Yay! So, yeah, we are playing Mass Effect. We are going to. I mean, basically, just kind of run through it. Because, I mean, I. <laughs> I have said before that I have went to all of Mass Effect 1, but that was a very long time ago. That was like, oh my goodness, high school. Oh, long time, long time. So yeah, we're going to go a bit into the Mass Effect Legend and the edition, go to both Mass Effect X, X uh, 1, 2, and 3, because I've actually never played them. Well, I haven't played Mass Effect 2 and 3 yet. At least not. I haven't played a Mass Effect 2 fully. Like I only did like two minutes of Mass Effect 2 when I still uh, had it on Xbox, and then Mass Effect 3. I never played it at all. Like I, I, and the main reason why I wanted to play Mass Effect 3 was because of the fact that it had an, a very amazing multiplayer, and I ended up, and uh, my parents would never allow me to actually uh play Mass Effect 3 on uh. On the on the Xbox, despite having the Legendary Edition, because they didn't want to pay for Xbox Live, which was very sad for me, because I really wanted to play the multiplayer because it's really good. So I, what ended up happening was that I had to get a, a Switch, get a Mass Effect 3 that way, and then play it on the Switch, which had the whole uh, free Nintendo Wi-Fi uh, wireless play and stuff. So yeah, that was my life. I didn't end up. I didn't end up playing it for long because, as the, uh, wait, did I say the Switch? The Wii U, the Nintendo Wii U. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, so, ended up buying the Nintendo Wii U, got some Mass Effect 3, played the uh, Mass Effect 3 multiplayer for a little bit, but ended up not playing it that long because the Wii U was basically dead. So, yeah. But I, w I would really love it. Uh, the publishers would uh, give us uh, Mass Effect 3, so... Oh, Mass Effect 3 multiplayer, at least, so... Anyways... <gasps> yeah, we are back here again, so... Hmm. We... Uh, I guess... I kind of been... Uh, I kind of did a little bit of scrolling through the uh, options, just trying to learn key bindings, because, I mean, mouse and keyboard player at the moment, so... Yeah, uh... I guess that's good... I guess since we're looking at this and since we're the main character, I think it's always a good idea to like set one set one of your options all the way to full so that way you have full go. So I think I'll probably put points into Charm because Charm usually is a Paragon world and what can I say, I like playing the Paragon so yeah. Go ahead and put the points into Charm. We already have points into assault rifles and combat armor, so I don't feel too bad. If anything, we can put into points into all the weapon skills later once we get our uh, speaking abilities up. So yeah, uh, so let's see. So we have our journal, which tells us our missions and assignments. I actually have not really, he, probably because I was still dumb and impatient back in, back when I was playing this. I actually had no idea, like, like. Like what the journal did and all that stuff. Like uh, all I really knew was equipment squad, uh, and exit game. So like those were the only moments. So I probably look at like stuff like the codex and stuff like like that. So oh hey, this is our personal history alliance. Nice. You were raised on Mindor on the fringes of the Atkin Travelers. When he was 16, the colony he was raided by slavers. The entire settlement was raised and your friends and family were slaughtered. Passing alliance which all rescued you, but all you loved was destroyed. You enlisted with the alliance military, eventually volunteering to go to a cruise colony that had mysteriously dropped out of contact. Soon as arrived on the surface, your patrol was attacked by Thrushamars, mindless abominations of teeth and tentacles that rose up from beneath the earth. Cause of gunfire couldn't drown out the shrieks of your fellow soldiers as they were dragged down to a gruesome death. If the Marines died on Hakus, you were the only one to make it back to the landing zone alive. Our monument on the planet, com 
commemorates the massacre. A grim reminder of the price humanity must pay as they spread throughout the stars. Interesting. So, I wonder if we if we ever go to a cruise since uh, that does have a since uh, we do have a history there. Because I remember like uh, I remember like uh, a character that I made in Mass Effect One who was like an Earthborn and he and he got like some story mission and it's back in uh, like the main base I guess you could say like uh, I can't remember what it was called like the tower or something but let's go ahead and we have. Roughly twelve hundred oh, right. years uh, ago, we we can go over those st stuff later on our, in our own time. So, yeah, let's go ahead and okay, let's see if we can't talk to anybody. Nope, oh, nope. Uh, horses up, please. Thank you. The captain's waiting for you in the comm room, Commander. Okay, good to know. You probably don't want to keep the captain waiting, Commander. Uh, all right. Uh, so everybody's just simply saying the same thing. Well, let's go ahead and get going. I do want to talk to all the uh, NPCs this time around because I think that they actually give me XP. That's an additional lore and stuff, so... Presley, what's going on? Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the Captain? Uh, Sounds like you don't trust our Turian into... guest. Sorry, Commander, just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. <laughs> God but damn it, Adams. you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. Uh, this three, these three will just end it, so let's just go into you what you You think the mean. Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre? A Turian Spectre on a shakedown run. It doesn't add up. I... I mean... Mm, shit, now I need to look into, like, what the Turians do now. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and... Talk about the Turian Spectre part. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. Mm. But that was... I mean... Hmm. Huh. I mean, I guess I would understand why he would be suspicious of Turians. Let's go with the plus he's a Spectre. Nihilus is no ordinary Turian. You've got that right, Commander. We're an Alliance vessel. Human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. I mean, yeah, it would make sense. Spectres... If I remember correctly, st Spectres are kind of like the... The shadow hand and of, like whatever it's called like I mean they're literally called Spectre they're the title literally he has a default for like an apparition anyways uh let's go over he did mention about the captain so let's go ahead and do you talk have about a problem that. with the captain no sir but I can't figure out what he's doing here Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. That is and impressive. Don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. Yeah, that would make sense. Oh, right, talk to me what about the stealth systems. What do you know about systems. the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper. Less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. Uh, hmm. What do you mean by that? For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. 
Well, tell you what, if I'm allowed to tell you it when I come back, I'll talk about it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Uh, right. Uh, uh wait. Jenkins and Chuckler. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. Oh, you watch too many spy vids, Jenkins. I agree with that. <laughs> then again, I was never really on for the movies anyways. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Yeah, I agree with if the doctor... Uh, real action usually... I don't care how bored soldiers get. Real actions... Real... So-called real actions tend to lead a lot of, to a lot of death to the people... Oh, to the people who have to actually go to the front lines. <sighs> Let's never... Let's just hopefully not see real action. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool, even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. You'll do fine. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coos. Everybody knows what you can do. Oh, this is my big chance. Me. I need to show the brass what I can do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. Oh. Oh, yeah, I was a lone survivor on a cruise. I definitely know how to prove myself trying to escape from a bunch of Thresher Mars. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not gonna screw this up. Oh, right, so let's talk about these three. Uh, hmm. Let's talk about Nihilus first. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. Oh. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I hope we get a chance to see him in action. I heard Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Interesting. So... I mean... <sighs> I kind of want to see, like, like, when the first contact war was, because, I mean, yeah, obviously it's probably, with Mass Effect lore, it's probably not going to be too far, it's not going to be too far in the past, but at the same time, I feel like it's enough in the past that people might be forgetting about it, at least, so, well, whatever. Uh, let's talk about Spectres. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Makes sense. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Interesting. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Huh. I mean, I feel like Spectre still, still has to report to... To like the, uh, to like someone at least. I think it's like council. I believe they were called. Like they have to report to councils or to actually make their movements known. I guess you could say. Uh, hmm. hmm. I mean, huh. I mean, I. I feel like if there there are no human inspectors, we'll just be if we reading lore about why I like humans have not if there's like a prejudice or something. But let's see about how dangerous it is. How do you control agents with unlimited power? I suppose the council could revoke the specter status of an agent who got out of hand. At that point, Citadel Security Services would take over. Those C-Sec grunts wouldn't stand a chance. The Spectres were 20 ordinary soldiers. The Spectres police themselves. An agent goes rogue, they send another agent to take him down. That's Spectre justice. 
The corporal's confusing romantic legends with reality, Commander. <laughs> Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the Council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. So tell hey, the uh, council make a good spectre. race, but... They're always getting dropped into impossible situations, forced to survive unbeatable odds. Just like you on a coos. Those are some badass memory Jenkins. Literally, people, 51 people, uh, of a dropped onto the planet. I was the only one left. I try not to think about a coos. Sorry, Commander. I, I didn't mean to offend you. I, I respect what you did there. We all do. Let's not dwell on the past, Commander. Was there something else you needed? Don't don't respect of the actions of the people who lived. Respect of the respect the, the lives that were lost. You're from Eden Prime, yeah, aren't you? Jenkins? About Eden Prime, What's means. it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, so I basically used to climb the opposite of Earth and across the, the fields <laughs> back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. I guess... That's... That can be technically true for some people. Although, personally, I've rather live in Paradise all my life. <laughs> Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime's one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. Makes There's sense. gotta be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. I mean... I mean... Chances are that uh, we might not actually have a mission, you know? The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Alright. Hello, the Nihilus. I do like... I I like, uh, how Terrians are designed, though. Very nice, very nice. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Uh, about what? What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Apparently beyond it, from what I've heard. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? I mean... Technically, it should be very safe? I mean... Question mark? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Yes, and as if is you have like 2,000 years of experience. I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I mean... I want to be snarky about it, but... I figured there was something you weren't telling us. Yeah. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Uh... That's... Go with the white There secrecy. must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need to know basis. Love need to know. Eden Prime <laughs> unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Prothean. Those. That was like, uh. That's like the ways that kind of. Or jump this uh, Mass Effect thing, so... Hence the name of the game! <laughs> I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The Mass Relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. Oh, it was called the it's Citadel. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. That's a lot but of Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Well, Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. 
This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Well, I'm glad you're here to help. It never hurts to have a few extra hands on board. The beacon's not the only reason I'm uh, here, course, Shepard. Not. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. <laughs> the Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel oh, Council. Oh, why? The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Uh, of course. Uh, of Not course. many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. They called That's me why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Oh, interesting. I mean, putting a human forward. I mean, I guess that would make sense. I mean, uh, a race, one of the, like, Spectre Council races would probably have to submit someone, but, I mean, still. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy and to the Spectres. Interesting. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I like you, Nevis. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I oh, need I'd, to see your well, skills for myself, Commander. I wish there was like a Prime way to, the first uh, of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the like ground team. Secure the beacon get and get the, it onto uh, the ship ASAP. Uh, now will accompany you to observe the mission. Okay, you know what? Yeah, this is this is a good possible place to send you, but it's interesting that how Nidus is kind of represents the whole, oh, like talent over who you, whoever you are kind of thing. Well, I guess he does kind of technically care who you are, but I mean, still, it's interesting. It's very nice, you know. So let's talk about the Protheans. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of why? galactic society. Why? And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. So... It's interesting how they just simply disappeared 50,000 years ago. It kind of gives me a bit of Forerunner vibes, like the whole... Well, then again... God, I'm trying to remember the how the plot of Halo, but now it's just like, it's slipping for me. Like, uh, I played that game for the freaking first-person shooter, not any story. Uh, well, it's good to know. Oh, and it was apparently... <laughs> I said, like, uh, it was like called the Tower or something. I'm sorry, it was... It was called the Citadel, so I mean it's close enough. I've I played a little bit of Destiny 2, so oh, it's only natural that I would probably confuse those two. Uh, so Eden Prime. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. Okay. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. And we it haven't so far? Humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. I guess that makes sense. And so, I mean, we've been in the whole Milky Way kind of galaxy, so. I mean, I guess it would make sense that we probably try to do stuff on, like, other planets in our solar system. But then it's just like. Get. Then Mass Effect happened, and then it's just like, We want to expand further! Though I am still kind of interested about the uh, whole First Contact War, and see, and see like the whole grudge between Turians and humans kind of thing. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. Seriously? That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. I mean, I get... I mean, if it was just... If a small data cache can 
leap forward at, at a, a species like 200 years then. Holy shit. Alright. Uh, tell me about these wrong hands then. Like who? The Atticum Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliant ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, waiters, stuff like that, but... I mean... It's... Can you tell me more about the Terminus, then? The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Okay, that, I guess that kind of explains why I, it's just like they they were doing a whole... The whole like, uh, hey, we're going to test this stealth drive out. Oh, then just simply happened to stop a uh, Spectre because you know, why not, and stuff like that, so... Okay, I see. I'm seeing the bigger picture. I'm seeing the bigger picture. Alright! Just give the word, Captain. Send me in! We should be getting close Tag to me Eden. in! Captain, Coach. we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Oh boy. Bring it up on screen. And this is where everything turns shit. Get down! Oh, uh, yeah. Everything shifty now. We are under attack, taking heavy casualties. I repeat, heavy casualties. We can't. Get evac. They came out of nowhere. We need. Hello there. That's not. Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold at 38.5. It's the God Hand! Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Alright. Grab your gear and meet us in the walk. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Again, the guard hand. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. Roger that. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you're coming with us? I move faster on my own. I mean, he is Spectre. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Down We've got us. us back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. That's we are go. approaching drop point two. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. All right. So first of all, I want to look at the codex real fast. Okay. Uh, Council waste. Ruffle. Nope. The sea waste. Is, nope. Set the dead on galactic cover. Nope. Are Humanity's ah, here first, we go. first contact, contact with an alien race occurred in 2157. Uh, is that a way can Hold on. I don't... As much as I appreciate the whole being read to kind of thing, can I... Sound... Uh, of course not. Uh, I guess we'll have just simply have to... I guess we'll just simply gonna have to deal with the whole fact that... Hold on, maybe if we marked all of you's red and... Spectre. Nope. Damn it. I was really hoping that I could probably get away with it, but humanity's uh, hold on. There we go. Nah. This way I can read it without having someone talk about it. So, you. 
Thanks! So, first contact war with an alien race occurred in 2157. Uh, so... It looks like... Okay, so... It literally was... So, going to here, it seems that it's just like, uh, when Terrians discovered the human fleet, it, it, they just simply went like, they blew it up. Interesting. Well, alright, so, after that, Terrians continued to fight, then, then they were defeated, and then the Terrians tried to really go for war, jeez. Well then, it's a good thing for humanity then, I guess. So, onto the squad. So we have Mr. Kaden Alenko. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, so I believe we want to... I don't want to start uh, uh, advancing your sabot, so let's go ahead and do put a point in there. Then uh, let's go ahead and give you the barrier ability then. Then uh, Mr. Jenkins! Uh, you're a soldier like me. You don't have any points into assault rifle, so let's go ahead and, and give you that and let's go ahead and give you a bit of assault training then. Alright. Oh god. What happened here? Good question. Smells like smoke and death. Yep. Alright. Nope. Oh. Wong. Can I? Well, that's how I crouch, definitely, but. Sheesh. Can't even. <laughs> Just like. Crouch. Stand. Then walk. There's no crouch walking in this game, apparently. Well. Yep. What the hell are those? Gas bags. Don't worry, they're harm. Oh, God. What happened here? Good question. Probably a question we'll be figuring out in the next episode. <laughs> I'm sorry, folks, but uh, we're going to end it here today. I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, comment down below, and hit that subscribe button because it's you guys and gals that make this channel live. It's time for combat and most of Well, I'll see you all next time.